Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Eight of Swords here. Hmm, let me get something with this Eight of Swords. The Nine of Cups. Now there could be, let me just get one more before I even say that. Wow, and we have the Seven of Cups. It looks like somebody is satisfied. Look, this is some other stuff right here. I didn't want to see this, but it looks like somebody's happy about somebody not being able to see or they're trying to put a mental block. They're trying to block your clarity, maybe your third eye or something like that. It's like somebody's trying to keep you bound or they're trying to keep you silent or they're trying to keep you from seeing something. They're trying to keep you from seeing something. Maybe your worth. Maybe they don't want you to trust in yourself or something like that. You got the eight of wands here. This is some type of attack, some type of like energetic attack. This person is trying to atta attack your third eye. You got the two of pentacles here. Like somebody's working on something. They're working on throwing you off or working on throwing off your balance or something like that. Like the way this is coming out is like, mm, the only thing that even remotely seems positive is this nine of cups. And I don't see how somebody can be positive around all of this chaos. That's why I'm like, I know this is another person that Look at this. And then you got the seven of pentacles here, like not seeing some type of results. I tell y'all, man, what's this at the bottom? You have the nine of pentacles. Exactly. The nine of pentacles. Somebody does not want you to get here. They don't want you to have financial independence here. They really could be attacking your mind your ability to learn something maybe about understanding. They could be attacking you in a way where you cannot speak or you cannot say the truth. Okay. Like, but with this eight of wands, it really feels like there's some kind of energy coming towards somebody to throw them off. Somebody's supposed to be in, in nine of pentacles energy here. And this person wants to throw you off. They want to put you in a situation where like, I don't know, maybe somebody's doing a paycheck to paycheck or some shit like that. I, I don't know. It could be so many different things with this seven of, of pentacles. But the idea is like they want you to be under some type of illusion where you feel like you're not getting somewhere. That's what I'm seeing here. We have the Eight of Cups energy. Hmm. Maybe walking away from something, abandoning something. Like instead of pressing something. Like it's almost like somebody wants you to like stop right there and just turn around. Like don't come any further. Don't come any closer. We have the four of pentacles energy here. Let me get something with this 
four of pentacles. Oh, we have the three of swords here. Like, I don't know, it looked like somebody may have walked away or like abandoned something and and perhaps leveled up in some kind of way because the four of pentacles is somebody that is stable, but they're keeping something to themselves. It's like the possibility somebody didn't want you to see that. This this hurt somebody here with this three of swords, but let me see something with this nine of cups here. We got the queen of cups. Let me get something with this queen of cups. Because the queen of cups can be an illusionist also. I told you, look at the devil card that came out. I'm about to say, I said the queen of cups can be an illusionist also. Especially she's facing this. She's facing this energy. Like this is somebody that wants to do some type of harm because perhaps they were hurt in some kind of way okay they're hurt maybe because somebody walked away maybe they feel abandoned or something like that somebody walked away and stabilized themselves let me get something with this seven of cups here We have the three of pentacles here. This is truly about somebody's money. It's truly about somebody's money because there's a lot of earth energy. You got the four of pentacles here. You got the devil card, which is earth energy. You have this three of pentacles, two of pentacles, seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles. It's a lot going on here where somebody... <sighs> I hate to keep getting this message, but it's like, I really feel like somebody's attacking somebody's money or they're attacking their stability here. Like it's always that somebody's always attacking, attacking somebody's damn money. They always attacking somebody's relationship or lack thereof. They always attacking somebody's damn mind and energy. They always just attacking people. Like what else can you attack family? I mean, shit, people do that too. But this is a lot about the material world. It's a lot about money and what you have. You have this Ace of Swords here. It's like they don't want you to have clarity. They don't want your ideas to be moving forward. They don't want your third eye to be kicking. They don't want even the truth to be clear. Because the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords is good energy. But with the Seven of Swords, it's like somebody doesn't want you to see it like you literally have to gain perspective you literally have to let's say fight against whatever they're trying to block for you and there are people that do this shit man there are people put here to block shit to destroy things to hurt things to postpone things there are energies that are put here to do that so don't be surprised but this seems like some type of attack because somebody is hurt it's this Queen of Cups devil energy. Queen of Cups devil energy here. You got this King of Cups here. Yes, it's still giving me somebody. This person, I believe, is an earth sign. They could be a Capricorn. Okay? They could be a Capricorn out here. Or the other earth sign, to be honest. But they're coming out as emotional they're coming out as like trying to trying to control their emotions let's say on the outside but on the inside they're doing certain things or they're doing things in secret or this is like somebody that knows how to let's say be nice or be charming or like they know how to get in this is the person right here. This King of Cups energy or Queen of Cups devil energy is the one that's doing this. This makes them happy. You have the Fool card here. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? And another thing, it could be a Queen of Cups against a King of Cups out here. It could be because I do have this Eight of Cups up here. Somebody walked away from somebody. And it was some type of connection. It was a very close connection too. There's also Aquarius energy here. 
like a water sign in an Aquarius. It's also representative of somebody going to, towards a new beginning very quickly. Or they started something very quickly. They took a chance on something. Let me get something with this, this full card here. We have the Emperor. Yeah. I really feel like something happened very quickly here. Like maybe somebody could have actually moved. Somebody could have moved. They could have left the country. They could have left the, the state or some shit. Like, wow. It's like I almost feel like somebody was left in the dust. Like with no clarity of something and this person feels like they have to retaliate or get you back for something. You have the Six of Cups here. This is a very past life energy. Or somebody definitely from the past that wants to pop back up. Look at this in the Ace of Wands. Yeah, nah. It's like they want... I really... This feels like, to be honest, this feels like sexual energy. Like with this Six of Cups and Ace of Wands, it feels like sexual energy or something. Like... Somebody could want to throw something off. <laughs> like... It could be somebody that wants to throw a relationship off that you have or that maybe you left for somebody else. Maybe you left and you went back to an ex or something like that. I don't know, but it's like they want to throw you off. They want to like, they want to stop you from seeing something or they want to stop your chances of something or they want to stop you from falling in love or they want to stop. They trying to stop something here. This three of pentacles could even be like somebody trying to stop you from having a family out here. I'm just saying, but it looks like they're trying to relight something. Let me get something with this Seven of Pentacles here. We have the Four of Wands. Let me get something with this Four of Wands. I just seen the Empress energy also. It's like they want something to be unsuccessful. Like they don't want, if you left for a relationship or something like that, mm -mm, they don't want that to happen. They don't want that to go through. They're trying to do something here. Look at this and then the two of sword here. It's like they want something at a stalemate. They want something, <laughs> they want something to have confusion here because they're mad that somebody left. Okay, you, you could have left, like, it's something here where, like, they want to be satisfied. What is this under, yeah, you got the five of sword with this nine of pentacles here. That's the biggest problem. They don't want you to be able to walk away in the fruits of your labor or something like that. Like, you could have walked away and you could have had all the money or something like that. You could have had a lot of money. You could have had a lot of resources or something. It's like they don't like that. They don't like that. And this is somebody I feel like was already trying to put some shit on you. So it's like they were trying to put some shit on you. Okay. And possibly it didn't work. Possibly somebody walked away. And that hurt them even further. Which is so weird. Like they wanted you to stay. Like confused or or in your place or they wanted you to stay underneath their control like some type of mental control or something like that they wanted it was something about information and that's another thing possibly like they wanted you to stay under their control but they couldn't have that and somebody walked away and this hurt them and it looks like some type of revenge attack 
to try to throw you off or throw a relationship off or throw something off from actually growing throw somebody off from at like people they will cause somebody in another country so quick to get them to do some type of magic or some shit they'll cause somebody down the street so quick they'll go on etsy so quick and find somebody <laughs> you never know i'm just saying like i can't um yeah i can't make this positive you have fulfillment of wishes i mean i can make it positive in that kind of way because it seems that somebody's still going to it looks like somebody's still going to have fulfillment of their wishes but this nine of cups is like the same energy of this nine of cups right here so it's really going to conflict because it don't look like both y'all can be happy spiritual strength here nine of wands okay so somebody has protection you see that's the kind of thing i see all the stuff that they're doing i see all the confusion and where they're trying to attack you and that it could be something even like a past relationship or past life where you went back to somebody in the past or they're reminiscing about something they want something back somebody is protected from all that because all this is about is you like having the fruits of your labor here that's all this is about like something that you worked for you have new beginnings here once again i told you look king of cups the full card which is new beginnings and you have the emperor like somebody might have come into some type of power like this person thought they had control over you or something like that and you may have come into some type of power and it was like you don't got control over me <laughs> but it doesn't stop people from trying we have the hierophant energy here it says wisdom so that could be another thing somebody could how can i say you could have a lot of morality or faith okay you could be very wise to what was going on because you walked away it's like you chose yourself here look at this all these nines look at all this you got three nines out here the nine of cups the nine of wands and the nine of pentacles like whatever they try to do it's you know it's useless here look at this balance that's the justice card that's the justice card somebody's definitely like going the right direction somebody's definitely balancing a situation it's just sometimes when you balance the situation the person that was benefiting they get mad they don't understand when something is balanced and they can just let it go and they can just say to themselves you know what i was wrong let me just let that go you know this is not this person not this person not this queen of cups devil card no not not that one what's this at the bottom of the universe that's the world card right there all of this other shit it don't even matter <laughs> all this stuff that they're trying to do all in their feelings trying to create illusions and shit like that that's not it's like there's a lot on their mind i get it you know but it's not even it's not even important i mean it's important so that you know you know maybe you want to protect yourself you know things like that maybe you want to know so you're not naive about the shit i'm just saying let me get an angel message here but it looks like somebody's gonna have everything that they try they trying to stop or they're trying to block or they're trying to set up illusions or whatever the fuck you even got the nine of pentacles out here twice like they're just doing whatever they can that's the kind of energy i'm getting that's why it's just like you can just throw this one away i'm getting like they're trying to do whatever they can whatever they can whoever they got to be nice to whoever they got to get close to whoever they got to talk to whoever like they're just doing whatever they can at this point 
because it's like they can't touch you. Surrender. Yeah. It says learning experience here. <sighs> like surrender to what? Who need to surrender? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. They fucking need to surrender. But maybe you need to surrender to just the fact that this person, they want to latch on to you. Like they don't want to let go. That's basically what it is. Somebody's like emotionally tied to you in some kind of way. And it's like they want, they want some type of fulfillment. They want something from you that they they can't get and they're not going to get. And they tried every which way to get it and they're not going to get it. But I mean, for somebody, it's a learning experience. This is something for the future. So you know who to be around and who not to be around, who to mess with, who not to mess with. You need to look at them characters because Queen of Cubs, Devil, mm -mm, she'll lure your ass in. But I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.